I'd like to spend some time right now to make a plea to Rick Spielman, Mike Zimmer, the coaching staff, and the entire Minnesota Vikings organization. While we in Vikings Nation, we would love to focus on the offensive line improvements. Dalvin Cook, he's fully healthy. Gary Kubiak, his system. Kevin Stefanski, he's calling plays now. What will the defense look like in 2019? Assuming everything all works out, this should be a championship contending team in 2019. Certainly one of the best teams in the NFC. At least that's what we're projecting anyway. However, something that we are all too familiar with and that we like to simply forget about is revealing itself yet again right before our very eyes. And that is the kicking game. We thought that firing Mike Prefer, former special teams coordinator, we thought that would solve everything. Not so much. One day in practice, Dan Bailey looks like the second coming of Adam Vinatieri. The next day in practice, he looks like you or me out there trying to go out there and kick field goals in the National Football League. We've been experimenting with our long snapper. We finally got that situated with Austin Cutting. We drafted him out of the seventh round. And we are still experimenting with our holder, our holder position on the special teams unit. I'm tired, man. I'm so tired. Oh, and don't even get me started because we also traded for, uh, with the fifth round pick, I believe in 2020 with the Baltimore Ravens for uh, Kari, Corey Vedvik. I hope I'm saying his name right. Kind of a jack of all trades, Swiss Army knife, uh, punter and kicker specialist. So we don't know if Dan Bailey or this guy, Corey Vedvik is going to be the guy. We're still experimenting with the holder position. I'm tired. I think I speak for all of Vikings Nation when I say we are tired. We are exhausted. We're tired. We're sick and tired of having to worry about the kicker position and the kicking game for the Minnesota Vikings. This is something that has haunted this franchise for damn near, I don't know, nearly or if not just over two decades. And for a couple of particular kickers that we've had in the past, it's unfortunate because we've seen the writing on the wall of just how bad that they have been before the Vikings actually made a move. So that brings me to this dude, Blair Walsh, okay? I've been saying for two years, this dude needs to get cut. Robbie Gold was available a couple of weeks ago, but I said, oh, and, and, and we were like, hey, let's go after Robbie Gold. Let's, let's at least bring him in to see what he can do. Oh, no, we're good with Blair Walsh. Oh, those kindergartners, those first graders, they wrote him a nice letter. They drew him some nice pretty pictures and everything like that, and he still got awful. And yet, year after year after year, we still have the same problems. We still have the same question marks. It is so deflating, especially with our previous offensive line issues, assuming that's fixed up now. Hopefully, we don't have to deal with that anymore. It's been so deflating when you finally score a touchdown and you think to yourself, "Woo! it's finally over, folks. We can relax, breathe a sigh of relief. It's A-OK -okay now to where you score a touchdown and the kicker comes up and you can't make extra points. Or you have a promising drive, you move up the field, you get within or just past the 30-yard line, the opposing team's 30-yard line, and you can't make field goals. It is so frustrating. Just get it right. But now, I'm at the point now, all the energy that I've used being upset and raging out and just being just mad at the Vikings organization for not getting it right, it's over now. We've basically been the parents time after time where we have that bad child and we basically do the homework for them. Hey, this kicker, he's not going to be great. We do the homework for them and say, all you have to do is turn it into the teacher and they still ball it up and throw it into the trash and we still have seen over time over the last couple of years disaster after disaster in the kicking game on the football field oh my god i can't handle this i can't handle this daniel carlson oh rick spielman you can get paired with this too yo oh, it was so necessary to trade up for daniel carlson wasn't it guy forbath would never look that damn stupid in the game you missed three field goals bro three one for 48, one for 49, and then we fought. We won't get the last one in overtime. This is it. Like four seconds left. They put you in a possession, the position, despite Laquan Treadwell, his bum ass, yo, know, leave his ass there. They put you in a position of quick, what, 35 yards in overtime to end the game? And you missed that too? Take a hike, you bum. And now I don't have the energy. 
I don't have the energy. I don't think anybody in Vikings Nation has the energy anymore because we're just so tired. We're so tired to where it's now. Okay, he makes the kick or he doesn't, whatever. We're used to it. You can't disappoint me anymore. I don't care who the holder is going to be, whether it's Chad Beebe or whoever the hell they have out there experimenting with that. I don't care if it's Dan Bailey or Corey Vedvik. I don't care. Can we please just solve and resolve the kicking woes so we can focus on everything else? Thank you. I beg of you, Minnesota Vikings, get it done.